Hey everyone, it's Stephen Get Money Myrick here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the fifth anniversary celebration. It's an event that DH Games is putting together in order to honor and celebrate their fifth anniversary. Specifically, they're asking for video submissions from some people, and in, and if you make those video submissions, then you'll get some in-game rewards for it. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the rules for doing that in case you want those rewards, uh, when you have to submit the videos by. But I'll also be showing off my submission and what I sent to them. And at the end of that submission, I did put together a little highlight package of some of my favorite moments from the last few months. So definitely make sure and check out that highlight package and all that good stuff. Before I go any further, I do want to say that if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'd really, really appreciate it. It helps me grow, helps me get big, it helps me keep making videos. So please, please hit that subscribe button. I'm putting up the rules for the submission here. You can also find them on the Idle Heroes Facebook page. The big thing is that there's a very short window for submitting these videos. And by the time this video comes out, you only have a few days if you're interested in doing this. Uh, but there's rules about what you can do, what they want you to talk about. You can see it's 30 seconds to five minutes. And then along with those rules, there will also be some prizes within the game to give you reasons for why you might want to do this. These are the rewards if you participate in this video contest. I assume what this is telling me is that if you submit something, you'll get 3,000 gems. But then if they decide to use your video, uh, they'll give you some more prizes. So if you are doing this and you're interested in those more prizes, maybe try and make your question kind of interesting or do something interesting. Uh, they also mentioned like they have the rights to this video to use and edit it however they want. So I would just be careful about what you use in that video. Make sure you're comfortable with that footage being used. Uh, but yeah, I went ahead and I made a video. I figured I might as well. So that video is coming up. And like I said, there's a highlight package after that. So let's go ahead and see what I had to say to DH Games for their fifth anniversary. Hello, DH Games and all my fellow idlers. Congratulations on your fifth year anniversary and especially to anybody that's been involved with the game or within the community for the last five years. I've been part of the community for about three years, I would say. And, uh, you know, just great memories of being on the subreddit since the beginning with MKX Jump and, hey y'all, it's your boy Zeals. But uh, I just remember trying to get my first 10 star, trying to get my first E3, get my first E5. I remember when they added upgraded, you know, artifacts and this game has really, really grown. But where I really found my home with this game was within my guild. Uh, specifically, I'd played the game for maybe a year or so and had gotten up to my first full team of 65s. And I felt like it was time for me to recruit myself into the best guild on Server 23, Revenge. <clears throat> and getting into Revenge, getting that active Discord channel really provided for me what I had been looking for, which was a place to discuss this game more, learn more about the game, and become more competitive. And those are the reasons I really stay with this game. Uh, obviously, it's an idle game. There's only so much you can do. But it's really been the community and the active subreddits, the active Discord channels, all the friends I made along the way that have really made me stick with it and probably take up a lot more of my time than actually playing the game. As far as my questions for the game designer, I think what I'm most interested in is what is the decision making process between making the game like interesting and fun while also trying to keep it idle and not take up many people's times. Like when I started playing this game, it only took a few minutes a day. And now as more and more modes have gotten added, there's more and more requirements. And there have been some smash functions added in order to reduce those requirements. But there's definitely days where it starts to feel like a chore, you know, where I'm working really hard. And so how as a game designer do you try to balance the idle nature of this game while also trying to keep it fresh and interesting? Uh, specifically, you know, Void Arc was a very great content, but if you smash, it's not as good. Realms Gate was fun when it came out, but you know, smashing hurts you because you can't explode, explore the caves. The treasure ship was a good mode, but again, you have to push the button 10 times. And so it went from, you know, me taking a few minutes each day to now I can feel like I'm playing 25, 30 minutes a day. And, you know, going along with that gear saving, I know you've gotten feedback about saving gear, but if there was any way to save the specific lineup we used in certain modes so that we didn't have to change them, but I'd really, really just love if the game remembered what lineup you had been using, what your setup was, and then it did a check to see, you know, do you still have all those requirements that you can do this lineup? If you don't, then you get an error message and you have to change up your team. But especially like Guild Wars, if you really try in Guild Wars, it can take 45 minutes a day. And that's just way too long for an idle game. So I'm just interested in the thoughts about how you balance the idle component of Idle Heroes with the fact that people do want a fun experience and they do want to be playing a fun game. The other thing I wanted to comment on is I would just love to see more rankings, more charts, more leaderboards with information about the game. For example, the Obelisk of Heroes here, you know, it has my 12 points. Why can't I see my 
my ranking? Why do we only show the top 100? I think it'd just be really fun to know where you stand compared to everybody. Maybe have a total number of players, even if it's inactive players, just an idea of what percentile you're in. That's the stuff that really gets me excited. Along with that, like having guild rankings. I know we have Ace Championship, but it'd be fun to see like which guilds have the most invites and filter through those. Maybe which servers have the most powerful guilds on them. Uh, just more information, maybe a way to show off your hero or show off, you know, we have the avatars, but maybe we can get titles or something where you can really just show off all the time and all the effort that you've put into idle heroes and have ways for other people to recognize and see that. I think that would just be a really good, helpful addition to the game. But again, I really just want to say congratulations and thank you to DH Games. Thank you for this game. Thank you for this community. I hope you continue to support it and listen to the feedback that we're giving that we are interested in this game, but we still want to stay idle. And as part of that thank you, I did put together a highlight package of some of my favorite moments over the last few months. So make sure to check that out and congratulations again on your fifth year anniversary oh come on come on burn him. are you kidding we ran out of time we ran out of time it's like i'm so unlucky right now i'm scared to even like push this button okay we got one uh, well, let's get two or an ignis here ah the gums on this boy are just going to be making memes for a very long time uh, he is not, he's a very unfortunate looking uh, individual. But, uh, you know, at least my bag isn't too crazy. <sighs> That's a few in a row with nothing. It feels bad. <laughs>